Kava Pushan Dog Breed Guide. Do you know what makes the Kava Pushan even more special than the other doodles we cover on this channel? It's because the Kava Pushan is actually a mix of three different dogs instead of just the usual two. Along with the Poodle, this new dog breed is also made up of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel as well as a Bichon Frise. What other surprises does this dog have up its sleeve? Stick around for the video and find out as we excitedly present to you our Kava Pushan Breed Guide. An International Origin Story You would think that a dog that is represented by both the United States as well as the UK would have no shortage of suitors ready to claim it, but that actually hasn't been the case. As of recording, the Kava Pushan is too new to be a part of any country's kennel associations, partly because it isn't a purebred dog. As a result, there's a lot that we still don't fully know when it comes to this dog, but we'll tell you everything we do know so far. It is believed that this dog got its beginnings in Texas during the 90s. Even though this breed was around for the golden doodle boom a few years ago, interestingly enough, people didn't seem to immediately want a dog like this. As a result, breeders in the UK took a swing at things, confused as to where things went wrong in America. They would experience a much warmer reaction from dog owners across the pond, and it wasn't until news of this spread back in the US that Americans became interested. Fearing that they missed out on something big, Americans slowly began buying up Kava Pushans, but it never really got as big as other doodles have. The Ageless Wonder Some people describe the Kava Pushan as a dog that doesn't age, since it pretty much looks like the same fluffy teddy bear from the day you meet them. This is also a miniature dog, and one that has a very puppy-like stature, which has always endeared it to people. Typically, this dog will only grow to about 12 or 13 inches as a fully grown adult, and it will weigh between 10 and 16 pounds. If you want to have a better idea of where your puppy will end up in weight, just look at the poodle parent, as these dogs tend to inherit their size and weight from the poodle side. Kava Pushans can vary in appearance quite a bit, but their appearance is largely dictated from their parents, even when compared to other poodle mixes out there. As a result, taking a peek at the family history can help you gain a better understanding of how things will turn out in the end. Dealing with their fur coat and an unexpected benefit In general, Kava Pushans will be hypoallergenic thanks to the poodle side of their family tree. If they have curly or wavy fur, they probably inherited this trait and it comes with some advantages and drawbacks. On the plus side, hypoallergenic dogs tend to shed very little, and they are perfect for people with dog allergies. On the other hand, though, they will need a lot more grooming than a non-hypoallergenic dog. So while you won't have to worry about sweeping up dog hair all that much, if ever, you will still have to deal with their coat in another way. Kava Pushans can develop mats if they aren't regularly brushed, which are not only uncomfortable for the dog, but also might require serious intervention later. If the dog's mats are bad enough, they can require shaving of the dog, resulting in patches of fully shaved bits. To prevent this, you will either have to regularly cut and maintain their hair at home, or send them to the groomers and regularly brush them. The latter is easier in terms of time, but the former is easier on your wallet. On the plus side, there's an extremely unexpected way that Kava Pushans are able to protect themselves, and that comes in the form of a really rugged and strong immune system. Keeping this dog in good health should be very easy as long as you regularly exercise them, which will save you some unexpected trips to the vet. Personality and Temperament a Kava Pushan is going to be a good dog for almost anyone, and they are easy enough to get along with that you shouldn't feel any major issues. Kava Pushans are very intelligent animals, and they also love interacting with people. When you get a dog like this, you are getting a pet that can slot right into your life without you or the dog really having to change anything. These dogs are really good with children, and you will be able to trust them around your kids after a short introduction. Children tend to enjoy Kava Pushans as well, since they have the personality of a bigger dog in the stature of a smaller one, and so even if your kids are young, they shouldn't really get spooked. 
it is worth noting that these dogs are incredibly active for their size, and so you shouldn't expect their size to hold back their curiosity and interest in adventuring. These are curious animals, and you're going to have to entertain them in order to keep them happy. The way that you can do this is by training them and giving them commands to learn and replicate. These dogs are happy to be challenged intellectually, and will actually be happier as a result. They are also easy to train due to that intelligence that they pick up from their poodle genetics, which makes this a great entry-level dog as well. Their Lifespan this is always a hard question to answer, as there are a number of variables standing in the way. Generally, though, you can expect your Cavapuchon to live 12 or more years. In fact, it's actually pretty common for a Cavapuchon that has lived a healthy and active life to make it to 15 or more years. Besides their strong immune system, the Cavapuchon benefits from being a pretty compact dog. Usually, smaller dogs live longer, and that trend continues here. Cost of Adoption and Breeding If you want to own a Cavapuchon of your own, there are a few ways to go about things, one of which is adoption. You can always look into shelters, both locally and nationally, that may have Cavapuchons available. This would be the ideal result, as it is a lot cheaper and you get to give a dog a second chance. Unfortunately, Cavapuchons are in pretty high demand, and on top of that are not that commonly put into shelter-type situations. In that case, you can go the breeder route, although it will be a bit more expensive. Cavapuchons are popular right now, and they have a pretty sophisticated heritage that only makes them more desirable. As a result, you could be paying upwards of $3,000 for a puppy from a breeder. You may find cheaper options out there, but it really just depends on how many are out there and what time of year it is. You may be able to find a Kava Pushan puppy for cheaper, but you should be extremely careful about the breeder's practices, as well as the dog's genetics, before going this route. And that about wraps up our newest Kava Pushan guide. What do you guys think about a doodle dog that is the result of a mix between three different dogs? Give us your thoughts in the comments section down below so we can take a look. If you guys enjoyed the video today, please leave a like as it helps us out big time. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Doodle content just like this posted all the time. That's all the time we have today, but we'll see you on another video.